Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is all about shoelaces and how you can use them to change the look of your shoes as well as your outfits. Sooner or later, we all feel like it's time to mix up our shoe game, and usually that means investing in a new pair of shoes. Unfortunately, quality shoes are quite expensive. However, if you watch our $100 versus $500 pair of shoes, you notice that the cost per wear is actually less expensive for a quality pair, which is why I always urge people to invest in quality if they can. If you don't have enough money to invest in another pair of shoes, the easiest way to change the look and appearance of your shoe and your entire outfit is by switching out the shoelaces. The advantages are one, it's very inexpensive. You can get round laces or flat laces, boot laces or colored laces starting at $9 in our shop and they only get less expensive the more you buy. Two, shoelaces are reversible, meaning you can put them in one pair of shoes and if you don't like it anymore, you just put the old ones back in or you put them in a different pair of shoes. That way, if you get a set of 15 shoelaces in all kinds of different colors, it gives you not just 50 new outfit ideas, but you can multiply it with all the shoes you have in your wardrobe. The disadvantage is that it takes a minute to exchange the shoelaces, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy and you can do it in no time. So how come that a little item such as shoelaces can really transform the look of your shoes? Basically, it boils down to contrast. Contrasting shoelaces highlight the lacing systems, and since they don't match the leather, they really stand out, and the look appears to be entirely different. Now, if a pop of color is too much for you, I suggest to change the shape. Let's say you have a black pair of shoes with black round shoelaces. To change the look, simply add flat black shoelaces, and you can really see the difference. The same is of course true for brown shoes or any other kind of shoe. Now of course, if you just exchange a shape, that's quite easy. If you go with a different color, it's easy to go over the top, so how exactly should you do it? Ideally, you want to match the color of your shoelaces to a different color in your outfit. That way, you pick up that color and the entire look is more harmonious and it looks like it's well put together. For example, you can match the shoelace color to something in your socks, if you wear colored socks. You can also combine it with the color in your pocket square, or your tie and your bow tie, maybe your cufflinks. At the end of the day, just pick a color that really works well with the shoelaces. It doesn't have to be a 100% exact match, but it should be in the same realm. Now that can be easier said than done, and not all colors of shoelaces work with all colors of shoes. So let's look at some basics here. Let's say you have a black pair of shoes. As I said before, if you have the black round shoelaces, upgrade to black flat ones, and that is still very office appropriate and very formal. If you want to change it up a little bit, and let's say your shirt has a blue stripe, you can add a blue pair of shoelaces, which really looks entirely different, doesn't it? A blue shoelace is very easy to combine because blue is very dominant in menswear. Now most people wear white shirts, so you could think about getting a white or off-white pair of shoelaces on a black shoe. Now that's a very stark contrast, and if you go for a very black and white outfit that may work, otherwise I think it's a little over the top. On the other hand, black with gray pair of shoelaces looks very, very dapper, because it's just a slight contrast, but it's different enough to notice a shoelace and your lacing system, and to provide a different look without being overly loud. If you like it a little louder, go with a red pair of shoelaces because black and red have historically been a good combination. For that reason, we have our wallet in black and red or our business card holder in red and black. When it comes to evening wear, black shoes are a must have. However, I suggest not to go with different colored shoelaces, but to go with distinct evening shoelaces. Back in the day, men matched the shoelaces they had to their bow ties and their materials, and it's actually quite dapper, and you can even go with a wider band because the bow tie is wider, and so if the bow on your shoe is wider, it just is very harmonious and unique. Let's say you have a black satin bow tie, go with satin shoelaces. If you have a velvet bow tie, go with velvet shoelaces or grosgrain and grosgrain. You get how it works. We have the largest selection of evening shoelaces in our shop, so if you're into black tie and white tie events, please check it out. Now let's look at brown shoes. The adventure of brown is that it comes in thousands of different shapes, so no brown is exactly like another. For your shoelaces, that means it's even easier to combine and it even gives you a greater option to create different outfits. For example, I like the combination of dark brown suede with a dark green shoelace. Again, it's not a stark contrast, it's a light contrast, but it's very sophisticated and it works really well for fall winter outfits if you combine any form of green into your outfit. Brown shoes also work well with red shoelaces simply because brown has elements of red in it and so it's already harmonious and everything looks tied together. 
even though there is a contrast. If you want to go bolder, look into maybe an orange pair of shoelaces or a yellow pair of shoelaces. Brown with off-white can look quite nice and I like it a lot more than with black shoes. You can also try to have dark brown shoes with light brown shoelaces or the other way around. Again, very subtle contrast, but different enough to make it unique. The same is true for cordovan or burgundy colors. I like to combine an off-white pair of shoelaces with a cordovan pair of burgundy boots because it's just different and it's not something you usually see on the street. I could go on for hours discussing all the different shoelaces with all the different shoe colors, but I think you get the gist now. Make sure there's some form of contrast and tie it into a color that already exists in the rest of your outfit. Because of that, you should always choose the shoelaces last and not first. Now, what kind of shoelaces should you get? If you wear any kinds of leather shoes or dress shoes, don't go with the thick nylon shoelaces you can find on Amazon and all over the place. Instead, invest in waxed cotton laces that are either round, which is classic, or flat. In our shop, we offer round and flat shoelaces in a length of 80 centimeters or 31 and a half inches, and they should work for all four eyelet or five eyelet shoe. If you have boots, anything other than a chaka boot with more eyelets, I suggest you go with our boot shoelaces. Not only are they thicker, but they're also longer. About 47 and a quarter inches and 120 centimeters to be exact. We also offer all the shoelaces in 15 different colors. The more shoelaces to buy, the more attractive the price will get. And make sure to also check out our evening shoelaces. Now that you know how to combine shoelaces with shoes, happy shopping. And please send us some pictures of your combinations to contact a gentleman'sgazette.com. Thank you. In today's video, I'm wearing a brown jacket with no vents and a white peak lapel. It's actually part of a three-piece suit. However, here I'm wearing it with a sand-colored pair of chinos. And if you want to learn more about chinos, please check out our in-depth guide here. My shoes are dark brown from Ellen Edmonds. They are a long wingtip, which means the side goes all the way back. And I chose to go with shoelaces that are in a cognac caramel brown, which is quite contrasting, but it goes well with my sand khakis as well as my socks. I also try to pick up the color in my dark red burgundy pocket square, which is made out of wool chalet from Fort Belvedere. The red at the same time is also in my socks as well as my knit tie from Fort Belvedere, and so it all works well together. My shirt on the other hand is light blue with dark blue stripes, and it creates a contrast to my khaki pants. If I've gone with something in off-white or white, there would have been just a light contrast and it wouldn't have been strong enough. At the same time, there's enough contrast between all of my elements in my outfit to create a harmonious look. Alternatively, I could have gone with burgundy red shoelaces or maybe something in a sand off-white color because I have those colors in my outfit. Of course, I could have also worn a dark brown pair of shoelaces. I probably would have gone with something flat. You can see, even though my shoes are derby shoes, I decided to go with a straight bar lacing, which is normally typical for Oxford shoes. To learn how to lace your shoes properly, please check out our in-depth video about that here. The boutonniere you can see right now is light blue, and so it works well with my shirt. And at the end of the day, everything is very harmonious. All the accessories I talk about in this video can be found in our shop. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and sign up to our newsletter. Thank you.